Hi everyone, Nakamura here, and today I'm bringing you a guide to Chinese in deathmatch. In particular, we're going to be looking at Nuva, and yeah, it's going to be a build order guide basically, but first, because I've never really talked about Chinese in deathmatch, let's talk about why Nuva is the god that you should be picking. Uh, so basically, the bonuses are that your human units are cheaper, uh, they basically have like a 10% discount, uh, your villagers regenerate, uh, thanks to the acupuncture attack, and you can revive free of up to three of them uh, with your recreation god power, which is of course very useful as you'll uh, be harassed a lot. Um, another bonus is that you have plus one population per gardens, and the garden limit is ten. So in a free town center situation, which is the standard that you'll be aiming for, uh, you'll have 170 population. That's one more than what Isis gets. Very, very, very powerful bonus and really pales the other two Chinese gods in comparison. Uh, and you can make the market in the classical age, so you can basically make the market and the armory at the same time, ending up in the mythic age very quickly. Um, the god path that you'll choose will be through Chang'e, so she's got uh, the Jade Rabbit upgrade, which makes everybody faster. She's got the, uh, well, the human units at least. Uh, there's the Elixir of Immortality. That will let your immortal heroes uh, heal at two hit points per second. And then there's Hui's bow, bow um, which improves all your ranged units, your uh, Chukunu and your, uh, your mounted archers. Then next up, you'll be going Devil Gong, who will uh, improve your villagers' uh, production rate. They'll basically train in 9 seconds instead of 14 seconds, so you'll get a really quick max out timing on your economy. Uh, he also improves your, your gardens to generate resources and favor faster. And there's also an upgrade here to improve monks so that they convert units faster. Uh, not particularly useful for this versus Norse matchup that we'll have here, but still a good upgrade, especially against Egypt, because you'll be able to convert mercenaries that doesn't take any population, so you can have as many as you like. Uh, and for the Mythic Age God, you could really go for either, but I do have a strong personal preference for Chung Li, who's got the Inferno God power that sets the ground on fire, uh, and the units on it, and there's the Vermilion Bird, uh, which is a very potent AoE myth unit. It creates basically a firestorm beneath. Uh, this upgrade doesn't affect anything in deathmatch as it reduces uh, costs on armor attacks. Then we got stir up, which improves all your cavalry unit hit points by 25%. It's crazy. Look at this. You've got the scout cav, the cataphract, the mounted archer, the general, and the War Chariot affected. That is half your roster affected by a single attack that buffs by 25%. It's so good. And this one is for ships, so not particularly useful. But that upgrade by itself uh, makes that god worth to go for. Okay, now let's jump into the actual game and see how you start out with them. So first up, you're going to throw down your temple, of course. You start with two scout cap, which have bonus against... Uh, villagers, so you'll be sending them out to scout, not particularly useful in the Norse matchup. Uh, that's why we're scouting. There's no villagers to target early. Uh, as you make your temple, so throw down a garden, and as soon as you're classic through Chang'e, uh, make sure to get your armory and the market down at the same time. You'll also be auto queuing immortals, and your villagers will be going to your closed town center. So, this is a fast 2TC build order, uh, as you've seen in the Hades one already. Uh, versus Norse. It's a pretty standard thing against Norse to uh, make everyone go to TC, really. Uh, we're also going to make a bunch of Shilin, uh, which are going to heal you on death. Um, and basically, one big mistake I made in this game is that I didn't make the garden immediately. You are limited to one garden until you have two uh, at a time. And after the second garden, you can throw down some more. So here we've made a combination of stables and war academies in a sim city format. These completely wall off, by the way. Uh, here I needed to make an actual little wall piece. <laughs> and anyway, the units we'll be training will be the halberdiers in the opener, at least. And then we'll swap to Chokunu production for uh, some to have some range units, basically. 
we know that he's not going for a fast TC build order, so he's gotta be at the front. We've already seen the barracks. Uh, we're also gonna produce the cataphracts, which are the counter infantry unit of China. And of course, we've also gone into the mythic age. So we've sent our bird out earlier to harass the sound center. You'll see in a second how useful that is. And we're, we've auto queued birds. Now I'm, I'm making my second gardens late. And after we have the two gardens, we can spam down all the rest, but I was also late on that. Here I'm making a double castle in the front so we can more comfortably creep forward. And we've noticed this little side build, so I'm rerouting some of these rallying units. Uh, cataphracts will make e quick work of the Ulfsark, although Hagrid here, my opponent, has advanced through Bragi, which gives them the, uh, the bonus damage against Cav. So I gotta be careful not to overspend on... On these cataphracts. Now here's the bird with its tornado fire attack. This does splash damage and also crush damage is included in it. So it's very good to take out buildings with, but it's also good against the units with the hack damage. Now here I'm just basically sacrificing some units uh, so that he can't spam buildings with all these Ulfsarks. It's very important. But Hagrid's has already got several fortresses in the front. That is a big problem. Uh, our villagers are safe because he hasn't gone for forest fire. If he had gone for forest fire, uh, this TC may have been preventable. But yeah, he didn't quite get there. Uh, also, I felt like I have enough villagers going forward here. It's look looking like quite a few. I've made a bunch of extra war academies and I've made a bunch of extra guard towers in the front here to secure this town center. As I knew, most of the fighting will be between these two areas. Uh, here on the Deathmatch Olympus map, it's it's really, really rough in the early game. You gotta pay attention to that. As soon as the TC is done, I've spammed down farms around it. Uh, so that should leave you space for 11, maybe 12 farms, depending on how well you place. And here goes the extra gardens. As you can see, I'm at 142 pop because I've only got two gardens done. Now, I should have been a bit further ahead than that, but anyway, it's... It's okay for the most part. Um, next up, I've deleted one of these buildings so that I can move my villagers forward. And basically, I've just kept making these villagers. Now, again, I'd like to remind you that these villagers train in 14 seconds. So they're around 40% faster training than those of other factions. Which is very, very powerful. Now, I've noticed here that there's quite a few cab units being trained. So I do believe that we've... Uh... Oh, no, not yet. Eventually, I was going to swap to more anti cap but we still have a bunch of halberdiers, which are going to deal some bonus damage against cavalry. And of course, the barrage god power will help me here uh, take these units out more quickly. It could be used on a town center in order to knock it back down, but I felt I was going to be too late and this wasn't under construction. It does do some crush damage, so do recommend. Anyways, uh, here I'll just click view lock from now on. And the game will basically play itself. One more thing to mention is the general. Always make sure to have a general unit and try to keep it alive as long as you can. Um, it has the boost attack that Arcantos does from the campaign or the Einherias for Norse. It, it will buff the attack of nearby units. And the chariot is a fantastic tanking unit for the front lines. Uh, make sure to have a few of them in the front. Tiger's using flaming weapons here, so I have to counter with uh, a retreat here into the tower fire to help me out. We are currently 3 to 2 town centers, so our population is quite a bit ahead. Uh, and I'm getting a few fire lances, which are my siege unit of choice. I'll later add in a bunch of sitting tigers, which are catapult equivalents. And that's pretty much the story here. Uh, Imperial examination will make my construction faster, so. That's why I spammed down so many buildings at once. Uh, it will also make my units train significantly faster. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Make sure to try some Nuva and join the Deathmatch Discord as well as my personal one. Enjoy the rest of the game. Nakamura out.
Thank <laughs> you. 